guys and welcome back to the channel it's almost been about a week i haven't posted that is because i've actually been working on something very huge I expect something all right i've actually been working on something very huge i've been working on some trading systems and some trading algorithms the people on my patreon community already have an idea but that is not the topic of the video on today's video we're going to be talking about the long awaited stagging strategy all right the long awaited god love stagging strategy do you want your, your screen to look like this you can see this is the this i use the same strategy to open all this trade so how can you be able to do it yourself how can you be able to duplicate this on your own account and make the same amount of money so that is the strategy we're going to be talking about on today's video hello everyone and welcome to my channel my name is indema zagolov and on this channel we talk everything about trading business personal finance and tips to help you stay profitable on a consistent basis so if this is your first time watching my content or if you have been watching my content and you haven't subscribed then please smash the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button on the video let's get started so the strategy is very very simple all right it is called the god love stagging strategy stagging strategy just from the name just from what just from what the name stands for stagging it means you actually stack up trade but you don't just open your mt5 and you just start stacking up trade no you're going to blow your account that one is very very clear you don't just stack up trades that have no idea you need to be able to know what you are doing there is a process you need to follow and just like any other strategies there are strategies rules there are strategy rules that you need to follow and if you don't follow these strategy rules there is no way the strategy is going to make you any money so to begin this strategy is based on three concepts all right it's based on three concepts the first concept you need to understand is that in forex trading there is no strategy that is 100 percent accurate what you have to do to make up what we do to make money every day is because we have strategies that enable us to have big winners all right they, we have strategies that enable us to have small losers and big winners that is the first concept so this strategy enables you to have big winners and when you actually have losers they are small losers so that at the end of the day the winners will be able to bulldoze or they will be able to cover your loser that is the first concept the second concept is the forex market works or the forex market works in terms of waves all right works in terms of waves meaning if i have my support here and my resistance here and i buy at my support there is no way my the, the chart the price is just going to go like a slingshot like boom from my support to my resistance right the market will normally extend retrace extend retrace, appreciate and depreciate all right so the market normally breathes out and breathe in breathe out that's why you see in your chart it goes up like this goes up goes up the market breathes out and breathes in breathes out and breathes in so what will you do when there is actually a retracement and when the actually when the market actually retraces and start going on your favor how are you going to capitalize on that that is a high, that is the idea we already have in our mind we already know that the market work in terms in terms of waves so we want to make use of those waves all right so we want to be able to make use of that so that anytime the market if let's just assume we buy here and we're expecting the market to go up if the market just go a bit and retrace what are we going to do at that particular retracement and when the market resume our normal trend and start going up what are we going to do that is another idea of the strategy then uh, another concept of the strategy is that the market due to demand and supply whatsoever that for whatsoever happens in the financial market whatsoever happens in the forex market if you see your chart going up or going down if you are making a decision to buy and sell that decision is either based on what demand and supply whether you like it or not those are the two forces that either move the forex that move the forex market the power of demand and the power of supply no other force any other force is just going to make any, any other force is just going to be supporting these two factors either you're talking about fundamentals where you're talking about news the news will either cause the market to have more demand or more supply talking about the economic factors like maybe president or uh, financial bank data or stuff they will either cause 
what a buying or a selling decision, a demand or a selling pressure. All right. So anything that happens in the forex market is based on is capital is influenced by demand and supply. So because of that, because of because we already know that everything that happens in the forex market is influenced by demand and supply. The market trades in different zones. All right, which is called demand and supply zones. So we're going to be making proper use of our killer. I used to call it the killer or the sniper support and resistance zones all right so we have you also need to have the ability to be able to determine your support and resistance effectively because not all support and resistance are going to hold right the fact that you just see a line doesn't mean it's going to hold the next the next time so your ability to determine sniper i call it sniper your ability to determine sniper or killer support and resistance is also very very important so after determining your support and resistance after having in your mind that the market will normally work in waves and after knowing that everything that happens in the forex market is influenced by demand and supply let's get into the strategy all right or let's get into let's go into my computer so that i can show you some of these steps all right good you can see on my computer this is <clears throat> sorry you can see on my computer this is the gold chart and on the gold chart i want to show you these are the process you need to be follow, you need to follow and at the end of the day your chart will be able to look like this your graph will be able to look like this these are the process you are supposed to follow so you can see this is uh, my this is my gold chart and what you do it obviously you go on the upper time frame to be able to look for your sniper or your killer resistance and support and resistance zones all right so the year uh, you can see i'm on the four hour time frame i can still go up to the one hour the daily time frame but let's just do it on the four hour time you can either use the four hour time frame or the daily time frame as simple as that all right so if i have to zoom this out let me zoom in, in so that i can just we can determine our killer or sniper support and resistance zones if you can zoom in i don't even need to go far to see that we have a zone somewhere here the market tested this zone many times so we had we have this zone somewhere here we also have this zone somewhere here you see the process is very simple everything is very clear on the chart i don't need to bring in 100 and 100 on indicator to tell me the trend of the i can see very clear this is another clear zone somewhere here the reasons why i'm calling, calling it the zone you already know see the market has had many turns year year and then year 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 then year again year again year again so you see why i'm calling it the killer or the sniper zones here again you see we have a turn a turn a turn a turn a turn a turn so and the market this is the current market price as this particular zone three now let's continue let's continue let's continue we also have another zone somewhere here you can see very clearly this is another zone here, here and then we have our last zone somewhere here perfect we have our last zone somewhere here so we have one two three four five we have four uh, we have five different zones that we can be trading in between all right so after the, if i'm making a decision if i do my analysis and i'm making a decision to buy from here it means there's a high probability that the market might be heading to this particular zone or if it breaks this particular zone it might be heading to this particular zone or if i make a decision and i see that the market might be changing direction because this is like uh, to break a break and retest because the market might break this level then retest it again so if i do my analysis and i see that this is a, this is a break and retest structure and I'm selling from here it means there's a high probability that the market will be heading to this particular zone all right so i already know where i already know where the market might be heading remember we're talking in terms of probabilities all right because in forex trading anything can happen i already have an idea of where the forex market can be heading what i do now is depending on how many trades i want to open also depending on my lot size depending on my account size and how and my risk appetite i can move down to the lower time frame i can either go right down to the one minute time frame the five minute time frame or the 15 minute time frame all right since uh, i don't want to be washing my computer like a hawk since i want to be able to have time flexible time to do other things let's move down to the 15 minute all right let's move down to the 15 minute because the trades will actually be taken on the lower time frame we do our analysis this is this is different from a technical this is different from any other technical trade technical trades have their own structure but for the stagging strategy this is the process you have to follow you determine your killer support and resistance on a higher time frame and on the lower time frame that is where we're going to be taking our trade because our strategy is candlestick dependent 
All right, that is the first thing you have to notice. The stagging strategy, the goal of stagging strategy is candlestick dependent. So we don't want to do it on a four hour time frame because for a candle to fully form on a four hour time frame, it takes four hours. We don't want to sit for four hours and we don't want at the end of the day, we have just one or two trades. We, we want to have many trades. We want to make a lot of money. That's why if you can see on this screenshot, we have many trades and they are all, the most of them are running in profit because we then step down to the lower time frame. So if I make a decision that the market is going to be heading from here to here, I'll step down to the lower time frame and I'll only be buying. So the first thing is for you to determine your levels and where there's a high probability that the market will be heading. Then if I also make my decision and I say that the market will be heading from here to here, on the lower time frame, I'll only be selling. I'll only be selling. I'll only be selling. And where will I be selling? All right? Where will I be selling? That is a big question. On the lower time frame, let's step down to the let's step down to the 50 minute time frame. Oh, since I want the results to be quick, since I want the results to be quick, let's step down to the even the five minute time frame. All right? Let's step down to the five minute time frame and we'll be taking our trades on the five minute time frame. Good. So we have the five minute time frame right here. You can see these are still the same zones right here. If I can minimize this, let me just minimize this. You can see these are the same zones which we drew on the four hour time frame. This same one, this one, this one, and this one. These are the same zones right here. But now we are on the four hour, we are on the five minute time frame and we're going to be taking our trades on the five minute Time frame. Let me zoom out to explain something, to explain what uh, we're going to be doing or what you should be expecting. All right. Um, good. I'm just zooming out. Good. So you can see on my computer, this is a live account. I'm risking my own life money because it's a strategy that I've been testing for years. It's already working for me. And that is why I'm bringing it out there. I can't be talking about the risk disclaimer a lot because you guys already know about most of these things. That is why I'm bringing it at advanced level of the course by now maybe you you must have already watched the 20 hours of content on the free forex course and almost the 58 videos only on the free forex trading course so for you for you guys to be able to understand better what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually place i want to have some trade up running right i want to have some trades up running so that when i'm doing the analysis and explaining you'll be able to understand better you know i prefer practical more than theory i don't want to spend uh, 30 minutes on theory and 10 minutes on practical. I would rather spend 10 minutes on theory and maybe 10 hours on practicals because practice, 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 practical is a practice. The practicality part of it is the most important thing, all right? So we're going to come back in a couple of hours, maybe two, two, two to four hours to actually see the trades that are placed and they are actually running and I'll be able to explain to you guys what you have to do, what I've done, what you guys have to do, it will, go, it will work in an inner currency pair. This strategy will work on inner currency pair. So we will come back in a couple of hours, we will see my trades that are running, I'll be able to explain to you guys step by step what I was able to do and how you can do the same thing to duplicate the same results on your account. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been almost about five hours and there you go. There you have the stacking strategy. You can have everything is on the screen, just as I just as I explained before we even launched the trade. We have our balance. You can check. If I have to go on my MT5, you can check. That is a live account. And we are already up with $4,500, almost $4,500 on a $7,000 account. You can see before we started uh, this particular strategy about five hours ago, I had 7,900, all right? My equity up now is almost about 4,500. And uh, my balance, oh, uh, the floating capital, the floating profit is almost about 4,500. And my equity now is on $12,400. I started this channel. Before I started the channel, I showed you guys the balance. And there you go. There you go, guys. That is the stacking strategy. And if I have to take you through this trade, which I have on, just see something, guys. See something. This is the same pair, grab USD, uh, gold, gold, S A U U S D. This is the same pair. This is the same pair. Can you see? This is the same pair. And if you can check, let me just open. These are the other ones that are not in profit. Beside that, the majority of them are in profit. And look at my loss size. Even though I'm on a $7,000 account, but look at, I'm using a loss size of 0 0.1. Very small loss size. All right, very small loss size because I understand that 
the, the strategy has the potential of opening many trades. So I want my margin to be able to support those trades. I don't want to open maybe 50 trades when I have a margin of $1,000 and I'm using a lot size of 0 0.1. If not, my margin won't be able to handle those positions, all right? So you can see, if I need to open, you can see that's the date. That is the date of today. Today is on the, on the 7th of February, 2022. And that is the time, you can see the time the trade was launched was five minutes past one. Five minutes past one, and the time now is 19 minutes past eight. That is almost about five hours, and we are already up with 4,500 on a $7,000 account. Perfect, you guys have seen it. Now that you guys have seen the strategy, you can see now that you guys have seen everything. Let me go now on my computer and explain to you guys step by step how you can be able to do the same thing because it will make no, it will make no sense if I just show you guys the results without showing you guys the methodology. So let's dive into my computer so that I can take a couple of minutes to show you guys step by step how I made my decision to initiate the trade, how I made my decision to place the, the first trade and how I've been managing and adding more position into this trade to you now. And I'm also going to be able to give you guys some risk disclaimer and how you can be able to prevent your account from blowing by the end of the video so make sure you, you stay to the end of the video so that you can be able to get those tips all right so let's down on my computer so that i can be able to show you guys these things perfect you can see here we have our empty file let me make sure this thing is recording so we have our empty file right here the currency pair we are seeing is actually uh great britain is actually gold gold is s-a-u-u-s-d all right gold is s-a-u-u-s-d and if you can check on my computer I have the four hour time frame. The four hour time frame is right there. And I've been, do even though you can see some robot on my screen, but I've been doing this one manually to show you guys how it can be done manually. I already explained uh, before this particular step that there are steps you have to follow. The first step you have to follow before you start, because you need to ask how can you be able to choose the right direction, all right? So there are steps you need to follow. The first step you need to follow is to be able to determine your killer support and resistance, all right? Is to be able to determine your support and resistance. Support and resistance that are going to work. Support and resistance that are going to hold, all right? That is the first thing you need to do. And if you can check on my screen, let me just show you guys. Then after you've determined your killer support and resistance, that is where the most important thing even come in on how to start taking the trade. Because if you can check, if you can check on my screen, I have too many trades on. It doesn't just mean I just open them at the same time. No. No, there are levels where I add. There are levels where I add. So I don't. And, and, and I don't just. Uh, I don't just add trade at any level. No, there are particular levels where I only add at that particular level, and I stick to the rules. All right. So now, if you can see on my computer, I use higher time frames to determine my killer support and resistance and the market direction. If I can go on my four-hour time, I can either use my four-hour time frame or my daily time frame. All right. On my four hour time frame, you can see I have goal here. And the first thing I do is to look for my levels, to look for my support and resistance zones. All right? I, don't, I don't call them lines because they are zones. The fact that the support and resistance were respected at this area doesn't mean the next time it is going to be respected at that same area. There's a zone. They always give a zone for the market to fluctuate. So on my chart, I have my support and resistance zones. And uh, let me just uh, put the screen big so that you can see. So, I have my support and resistance zones, and the first zone I was able to pick is here. So, this is it's easy. I just look for where the market was able to have the highest number of turns, because that is the power of demand and supply. That is the main reason why the forest market moved, because of demand and supply. And because of demand and supply, there is always that in there's there's always that imbalance that imbalance between support and resistance and that fear that sentimental factors in the market most of the time cause or uh, these levels where we call support and resistance zones so if you can just see here this is my first zone my second zone is here my third zone if you can check the zone was respected here 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 and here so that makes it a potential zone this zone was respected here 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 uh, here, 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 and still here. That is still another potential zone. Then this zone was respected here and here. 
that is a potential zone and this one was respected here here and here that is another zone so once i've already drawn my zone and i make sure that this the difference the distance between my zones is must be at least 150 pips so all of these zones if the smallest zone i have here is from year to year and if i measure this distance is 250 pips all right so all these distance these are potential distances where i can i can trade these are potential zones where i can trade now we've known our zones on a higher time frame now i was also able to spot this particular channel since last week almost about a month ago because you can see this is the 3rd of december right here about a month ago i've been trading this particular channel you can see this is the uptrend you can see this is my lower channel this one this one this one i can call this one my support line so this one is my channel support line and this one is my channel so a resistance line so you can see i have a very nice upward sloping channel all right and what i do is to trade a channel is very simple you can see the market is bouncing on higher lows higher heights higher lows higher heights higher lows and here the the structure was broken the structure was broken at this particular point. You can see this point of confluence. This is where the structure was broken. And when the structure was broken, what happened? The market pulled down to this particular zone, to this particular zone, which is one of the most important. It started respecting right from the 19th of, the 19th of November. So the market pulled back, to this, pulled back to this particular zone. And I have been waiting for the market to pull back to this line so that I can make a decision to sell from that particular line, all right? That is what they call the break and retest. The break and retest strategy. The line was broken somewhere here, and there was no way I was just gonna jump into the market to take any decision. I waited for the market to come back to this zone. Uh, I took a trade last week, and I think I, that trade I made almost about 250 pips. I got out of the trade somewhere here, somewhere here, but now, even at that level, I can't still make a decision because I know of this potential. I know of this potential trend line, this potential trend support line. And I've been waiting for the market to pull back to this area. So by the time we took the trade, the market was just somewhere here. If you can go back, if you can check the, uh, my analysis earlier in the day, we were just somewhere here. So I saw that the market still had the potential to move from here to this particular line, which is about 120 pips, all right? So I'm gonna be closing, as soon as we're done with the video, I'm gonna be closing all the trade because you can see the current market price is exactly on that particular trend line. This is where I plan to get out of the market and I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna get out of the market as soon as we are finalizing with this video. We're gonna close all the trades together, all right? We're gonna close all the trades together as soon as we are finalizing with this video. Now that I've known my market trend, I've known, when to, I've known where to get in and where there's a high probability that the market might be heading, what I do is, my strategy is candlestick dependent. Meaning if I'm using the strategy on this particular uh, uh, time frame, it means I'll only be taking the decision after every four hours because this is a four hour time frame. No, I want to have some, I want to have many trades. I want to be able to stack as many trades as possible or as many trades as my account balance can handle. So what I do is I step down to the lower time frame. In our case, I use the five minute time frame, all right? Uh, I use the five minute time frame and let me go back to the four hour time frame and mark where we got into the market so that you can be able to understand. All right, let me just use this. This is where we got in somewhere here. We got in at exactly this point. Four hours, right? Yeah, we got in somewhere there. Let me put it again there. I want to mark the point so that when I go on a lower time frame, you'll be able to see. Yes, we got in somewhere there. So now, stepping on the lower time frame, I already know that I'm going to be making a buy decision. All right? You can argue. Stepping on the lower time frame, I already know very well that I'm going to be making a buy decision. So now, let's, let's go to where I started buying. Let's push this one right down so that you can be able to see. Then let's, en let's enlarge this so that I can be able to explain... Uh, what i did good so we started buying we started buying which time was this this is uh, on the 7 17 no so let's go back again we started buying at one o'clock good 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 you can see this is one o'clock here yeah this is one o'clock right here good that that is one o'clock so this is where we started buying so if you can check this red line here this is exactly one o'clock that is where we started buying good so we already know you need to understand the strategy very well, all right? We already know on the higher time frame that the market was in an uptrend. The market was bullish. Good. So since we already know on a higher time frame that the market was bullish, 
we had a particular level where we need to get into the market. And by the time we were analyzing the chart, the current market price was somewhere here. So we know very well that we need to be buying from this particular level. But remember, I said this strategy is candlestick based. Since I know I want to only be buying, I am only looking for bullish candles. So what I do is I just come and I just sit and wait. I used to even, I can even, I used to just even open the screen on another screen so that I can just be watching and doing, uh, and doing other things. At the end of every five minutes, I just check my computer. If the candle is bullish, that means if the candle close as a blue candle, then it's a bullish candle. It means the market, the, the, the buyers are in control. So anytime the buyers are in control, I place a trade, all right? Anytime the buyers are in control, I place a trade. But even at that, I can still choose to place two trades, what I used to call trades per signal. I can still choose to place two trades at every signal. So anytime I have a signal, to buy, I can open two trades at the same time, all right? So you can either open one trade or two trades based on your account balance and your risk appetite. My risk appetite is big and my account balance could support this because I started with $7,000, as you guys can see. So what I do is I wait for the, the first candle year. You can see the first candle year was what? Was bullish. So I placed, I opened my two trades. I opened the first two trades. I waited again after every five minutes. After the next candle, five minute candle, it was still blue. It was still bullish. I opened two other trades. So I use a very small lot size. It's very small lot size because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be having many trades. And if I'm using bigger lot sizes, remember, it's going to blow out my account or the volume, my, the margin might not be able to support all the volume or the margin might not be able to support all the trade. I was having a $7,000 account and you guys can see I'm using 0.1. I'm using a micro lot on a, I'm using a mini lot uh, uh, on a 1,000, on a 7,000 dollar account. Normally, I was supposed to be using something like 0 0.7, but I'm even using 0 0.1 because I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be having many trade. All right. <clears throat> so with that being said, at the end of, at the close of every candle, if that candle is bullish, then I'm going to place two buy signals. I can either choose to be placing one or two. So I just keep doing that. I just keep doing that. And I have in my mind, I know the level that I need to be getting out. And I already have at the back of my mind, a particular level where I need to get out. And that particular level was determined on what? On the higher time frame. So whatsoever buy, whatsoever buy position that I'm stacking, I know at the back of my mind that as soon as I get to this particular line, you can see the line is still there. As soon as I get to, the, to this particular line, I'm going to be closing all my trade. All right. So I don't even care to be putting a stop loss on all these uh, other positions I'm opening because what I, what I have is what I call the global take profit and the global stop loss. Since I started buying, uh, buying at this particular area, my global stop loss was somewhere here. All right. My global stop loss was about, about 30 pips away, was somewhere here. Meaning if the market has to go against me, then 30 pips below the current market price, I'll be closing the robot uh, or I'll automatically close all my trade. And I also have my global take profit up here, meaning as soon as the market gets up here, I will automatically close all trade. So in between, I don't have any take profit or any stop loss on this individual trade. What I just what what is of my concern is the global take profit and the global stop loss. All right, so I'm just making that very clear. So I just keep adding, and anytime, uh, anytime a bearish candle, because I understand if I open, if I buy at a particular support and I'm aiming for a particular resistance, there is no way the market will just go like a slingshot, boom, and hit my 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 support, my resistance. Right, the market breaks out and breaks in. The market extend, the market will normally uh, extend and contract, extend and contract, or extend and retrace. So anytime there's a retracement in the market. I won't take any decision. And as soon as the trend resume, I'll start buying again. I'll start adding again. I'll start adding again to that. That's just the basic idea. Although there are, there are a lot of things which I've added, but that is just the basic idea you can use to make money with the stagging strategy. That is the main idea. You can see I just I kept adding positions. I kept adding positions. I kept adding positions. That is why if you can check on my phone, let me just show you this. Let me see. You can see as we're talking, we're already above 5,000. Let me show you this. As you can see on my phone, you can see we're already almost on 5,000 just as we are talking. As you can see on my phone, the first positions that were open were right down here. All right. The first position were right down here. And the first position were open at what time? At the same time. No, the first position should be the first positions up. Because the first position, this one was at 1245. And this one is what? 1245. The same time. 
1245 and if I open 1245 because I open I open two trades per signal so I just keep doing that I just keep adding positions and going up and I don't just add all of them at the same time I wait for the market to show me a sign that the bulls are in control or the market to show me a sign that the, the, the bearish trend is, uh, is resuming before I can add another signal. I don't just add, I don't just add. And anytime there's a retracement in the market, I wait for the normal trend to resume. You can see, you can see. So I just keep buying. Any, and anytime I have a bearish candle, anytime I have a bearish candle, any, anytime I have a red candle, I don't do anything. And as soon as I see a blue candle, I open two positions. I open two positions or I open, I can either decide to be using two signals per trade or one signal per trade and as soon as i see a big drop down like this i don't do anything as soon as i see blue candle the same thing i keep adding i keep so each signal each candle i make a decision to either buy or sell and i'll buy if the candle is blue and i'll not buy if the candle is red and as you can see from year to year we had a very big retracement this big, big re retracement, I was just waiting for the normal trend to resume. And you can see this big ass candle, this big candle. As soon as I saw this, 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 big, uh, this big candle, I started adding positions and going up, adding positions and going up. And you can see, we are where? We are at the black line. This is where we plan to get out. If I go on a four hour time frame, see something? If I go on a four hour time frame, that is it very, very clear. This is where we, we plan to get out. We got in somewhere here. We got in somewhere here and we are already up with 115 pips and we plan to get out at this particular level. So we need to respect our rules. We need to respect the strategy rules and know that we plan to get out at this particular area. So that is the strategy, guys. That is the stacking strategy. It's very, very rule. It is very, very rule based and you need to be able to respect the rules. And since we've already gotten, since we've already gotten to that particular, uh, to that particular level where I plan to get out, I want us to close all this trade. You can see I'm already up with 5,000, 5,000, 5,000 and something. Five is fluctuating between 5,100 and 5,000, all right? But I want us to close all this position at this point because there's a high probability that this market might be going from, it might be turning sideways from this particular area because I know that this was a break and retest. The, the, the market already break that particular area and was going to retest the line. You can see this line is already tested at this area and the market is expected to fall. There's a high probability that the market might instead fall at that level. So I'm going to be closing my trade. I'm very happy with the profits whatsoever. I, I already made almost $5,000 from a 7000 from almost 8000 to 12000 and I'm very, very, very satisfied. That is a live account. That is a stacking strategy, which I did promise you guys that I was, going to, I was only going to be bringing it at the advanced level of the course. Because you can't be talking about strategies like this if you haven't gone through all the 48 videos or the 21 hours of content on the free Forex uh, course playlist. So go through that playlist, guys, if you want to be able to know more of this. And if you, if you, if you want, because you can see many trades I've been, I've been able to open all these trades because I was in the office the whole day. So what if you have a system that can automatically do all of this for you, all right? That is why I have personal robot. I have a personal robot which I've personally developed that can do this. All you just need to do is your ability to determine your killer support and resistance. And once you already determine your killer support and resistance, you drop in your robot and the robot does everything. The robot will be able to do everything on your behalf. All right, so if you want to be able to see how the robot works or to test out the robot, then check out my patron because if you are part, if you are a member of my patron community or the mentee type level of my patron community, then you have access to my Discord, uh, to my Discord community. If you are a member of my Discord community, obviously there you have access to my live sessions, you have se uh, options to Zoom session, and you also have an option to have this uh, robot to test it out. The robot will be able to do the same thing. And even after this, I'm going to be doing some couple of trades that I'm going to be showing you guys how the robot works. So we've already done that. We're going to be closing this trade. And even closing this trade, I have another robot that I'm, if you are part of my Patreon community, I'm still going to be able to give you that robot for free. Which that robot, I use that robot to automatically close all my positions. Because you can see I have almost 100 and something trades up. It will be very, very difficult if I have to be closing this trade one, 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 one. So what I do is I have another robot that I just drag onto my computer and I press close and it just automatically close everything. It is called Golov 
auto close and remember i was using the five minute time frame because i could watch my I, I could watch i was actually there to watch my computer this strategy will work for any time frame all right but remember if you are going up to a 15 minute time frame you have fewer trades because you will only be having a signal after every 15 minutes if you are going to a 30 minute time frame you're going to even have fewer trades because you're only going to be making a decision after every 30 minutes so the the strategy is time frame dependent if you put it on a one hour or if you, if you put it on a daily time frame then you're only going to be making a decision after every day all right which maybe after every day the candle is not going to even if you are if you want to only be buying the candle might not even be blue so you might stay forever without having so the lower the time frame the more trades you open and the more the more of your account margin you're going to use and the more profit you can make so you need to be able to have a balance if you are using a, a smaller time frame then make sure you have a bigger account balance that will be able to handle the bigger trades if you if you don't have a bigger account balance then you can go up to the higher time frame like the 15 minute the 30 minutes or the one hour time frame so that you have fewer trades with fewer trades your margin your your account margin might be able to handle those trades all right because i recommend for this strategy the best you the, the, the optimum the advice or the, the the amount of advice for you to try out this strategy is from one thousand dollars because you can see there are times where i used to take one thousand to ten thousand 2000 to 20000 is very very possible if you are using this strategy but start with a reasonable amount that if the market has to go against you for just few people if there's a retracement in the market you're going to be knocked out you're not going to be knocked out immediately all right so let's close this trade guys let me bring in my golf auto close so that we can close everything so what i do is i put my algorithm trade i put my algo trading on then i can put this one so that you guys can be seen you can be you can see here i have all the trade let me put it up so that you guys can see. These are all my trades running. Let me pull right down. Good. You can see balance 7,900. Equity 13,000. You can see we're up with 5,700, almost 5,400. The market is going up, but there's no probability. There's no probability the market is going to keep going up. I'm not too greedy. My plan was to come out at this level and I'm going to come out. All right. I'm going to close my positions. So let's bring in our robot that we're going to be using to close. Let's pull down, let's pull in Golf Auto Close. Then do you want to attach? I say yes. Good. So you're going to be seen. It's going to appear on the chart very soon. Good. Allow Argo Trading. Then Input. I just want to go on Close All. Under Input, you go to Close All. The, pe the people on my Patreon will obviously know how to use this robot. You can see something has appeared on my screen. Close. If I just click on this Close, obviously you're going to see the magic. Let me close on Close. Guys, can you see? All the positions are closing up. On my phone, you're going to see the same thing. See on my phone. See on my phone. Can you see on my phone? The balance is increasing. My balance has moved from 7,000. Now it's on 8,000. My balance is on 8,100. Very soon it's on 8,200. Can you see? All the positions are automatically closing. Because if you want to be doing this one by one, one by one, trust me, guys, there are sometimes you need to get out as a sniper. If you want to get out at a particular level, just use the robot. You get up, boom your robot will just automatically clear all the positions without you sitting there to be seen it doing one by one, one by one, one. No, 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 no. It's going to be very, very difficult manually. You can see, look at my phone, guys. You can see uh, I was having 5,000 something. Now it's dropping because I'm, I'm banking in. I'm banking in my profit. I'm closing my profit. You can see my balance now is on 11,000, 11,100, 11,300, 11,400, 11,500, 11,600. Can you see? Can you see the robot is closing everything? I don't need to do everything in less than five seconds. All the positions, all the positions will already be closed. See something? Boom! That is it, guys. That is it. Look at my MT5. Check my MT5. Do you see any other trade running? Check the balance you are seeing. To show you, you can see that is the same live account. The balance you are seeing here is what thirteen thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars. Check here. What is that? Thirteen thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars. So we just made a profit of five thousand two hundred dollars from our seven thousand dollar account using the Golov tagging strategy. All right. So make sure you watch the video to the end. Rewatch the video again and practice, 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 practice. Practice makes perfect. You need to be able to practice as many times as possible so that you can be able to try. You can be able to try all these different options that I am recommending. All right. You need to be able to try. I need to be able to practice on a lower time frame. But now, what whatsoever time frame you are using, you need to be able to determine your market.
market trend or your market direction or your killer support and resistance level on the higher time frame all right before you can move down to the lower time frame and open and start open or, or start stacking your positions so you guys have seen it firsthand all right i remember when we just started the course you used to see my trades sometimes i have almost about 200 trades up stacking positions and the trade is running and you ask like what are you doing or how what is the strategy you are using that is the stacking strategy so it's, it's left for you to practice out this strategy to see how it can actually work and if you want a robot that will be able to do everything on your behavior the only thing you just need to do is to determine your support and resistance and the robot does everything then make sure you check me out on my patreon check out my patreon check the link on the video description so that you can be able to check me out on patreon and on patreon you'll be able to have access to most of my robots so that you can try it out and see if it can work for you thank you guys so much for watching make sure you smash the like button on this video check out the link below to be able to use the same broker i use because not all brokers will allow you to stack like this right some brokers will manipulate your positions some brokers will see that you are making profit and they will start trying to play against you so check the link below to use my recommended broker use the same broker i use so that we can make the money together and also feel free to check my free telegram channel all right check me out on instagram make sure you smash the like button on the video subscribe to the channel and till then i will see you guys on the next video so watch the next video which are going to be coming at the end screen peace